Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another Dying Light 2 video. So on 31st of Jan 2023, Techland did a live stream celebrating the first anniversary for Dying Light 2. And during that stream, they talked about the upcoming content for this game. So in this video, we'll be talking about just that. Also, you might have noticed that my voice is a bit messed up and I sound different. Well, that's because I'm actually really sick and I've been sick for more than a week now. So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying and if you can't, well, you can use the subtitles if I'm not clear due to my sickness. And yeah, as always, for everything Dying Light 2, do subscribe to this channel. Now, talking about the future updates. Since the last time I talked about it where I mentioned the DLC 2 and I showed you guys some early gameplay footages, a lot has changed since then. The name of the DLC, few quests, and some of the stuff that we can talk about later in this video. Now, the first thing. Techland has brought us a new roadmap. Have a look at it. So in April of 2023, we'll be getting combat physics and brutality upgrade, meaning we're gonna have more dismemberment and gore. Then people who complained that swinging a weapon is not satisfying in Dying Light 2, well those people will now be happy because it's going to change and now each weapon will have different impact to it along with the physics that plays out. And finally, don't forget the change is not just limited to weapons. Next, the same month we'll be getting some Techland GG quest for Dying Light 2. Well, as the name says, it's some quest that one person can pick from Techland GG website and earn itself some rewards that only unlocks after reaching a certain level. And finally, the same month we'll be getting a new gear transmog system, meaning you'll be able to equip whatever gear you want, but you will have an option to choose which skin to wear. In short, I could be wearing a tank set, but my outfit would look like I'm wearing a half healer and a bra. Honestly, it could be whatever you want. This allows you to create your own outfit and it's a very cool feature. Now moving on, in June of 2023, this is the month when Techland will drop an update that brings in roaming, volatiles and overall a new night experience for the players. I mean it's not that hard to understand, we're gonna see volatiles easily now as they will be roaming around the city during the night time. Now when they say we're gonna be getting a new night experience, well that's hard to make a sense of. It could be anything cool or overall nothing. I mean we could have volatiles now who start a chase and we could see more special infected on the streets rather than only seeing them during a legendary encounter. Anything is possible and Techland said themselves they wanna make the night time more scary and difficult. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Next, the same month we'll be getting some parkour flow improvements. Now, we have talked about this before. The flow of parkour in Dying Light 2 is not consistent. You'll be running fast as Sonic in the game, doing jumps and all kinds of parkour moves, but the moment you do another move or grab a rope or a ledge, you will end up killing that momentum and you will slow down instantly. That's because everything you do works based off an animation. That's why you could wall run and still go on even though there is no wall there. The animation is literally playing there. So all this happens because of Techland putting too much emphasis on animations rather than physics. So this update will fix these problems. Next and probably the biggest announcement of that day. Later in 2023, Techland will officially drop the DLC 2 for Dying Light 2. A new story expansion. But hold on, a lot has changed and it's for the good. Because if you remember, I talked about this DLC a month ago and a lot of people didn't like it. Plus, it had a lot of plot issues. So looks like Techland took some notes and actually implemented the changes. So the first thing they changed is the name of the DLC. See, previously the DLC 2 was called Blood Diamonds. The reason for that was because the story of DLC revolved around crystals, which could be considered a diamond during a zombie apocalypse. Now, if you play the game, and focused on the story, then you would know how important the crystals are in the game. I mean, people will kill for it. So DLC 2 was originally that, hence the Blood Diamond's name. But this has now changed to something completely different. It's called New Frontier. Yes, Dying Light 2, New Frontier is the next DLC. Now, why is it so special than Blood Diamonds? Well, because this DLC actually continues the story of Dying Light 2. So you guys remember Aiden leaving Villador, right? Well, his future adventures and whatever happens after that will take place in the New Frontier DLC. It's an expansion DLC that continues the canon story and this is just amazing because the last time we talked about this DLC too, it had a different story that involved the underwater diver who used to collect crystals. 
I honestly have a lot of respect for Techland for making this huge change. There's a lot of things that Techland is adding to this DLC that was not there before. For example, we're getting a new faction in this DLC and this was found by the data miners literally the day the anniversary patch rolled out. So a new faction is coming out plus the freaks of nature from the following DLC will be back in the DLC too. So if you guys love those freaks of nature, well, you're gonna love this one too. Now, I still haven't revealed that one thing that's gonna make some people go crazy for this DLC. So be ready. Dying Light 2 New Frontier DLC is officially adding guns to the game and no I'm not joking. I got literally proof for that. The first would be Timon's McTala, the franchise director who teased people about the new way of killing infected. Oh and one last thing. You're my ragamuffin. If you would like to fight the infected using other means than melee combat, you should be quite satisfied with one of the additions to Dying Light 2 Stay Human we are currently preparing. All this and more will and reach your playthrough in 2023. Well, after hearing that, everybody thought it could be a lot of things, but what gave it away was the leftover files in the game. So the data miners did their job and found two different codes for new weapons that could be part of the new Frontier DLC. The weapons are called Frontier Pistol and Frontier Shotgun, both of which have been added on the public demand. People who love guns in a video game will surely appreciate this. I mean, it's a good freaking start. Also, according to Timon, we'll be seeing some familiar faces in the DLC too. So the question is, who could that be? Could that be Kyle Crane, Brecken, Lena, or maybe Ghazi? I know everybody must be thinking of these names, but I feel like it's actually gonna be the twin brothers. Because let's not forget the last time we heard from Tolga and Fatin was on the radio when they thought they were talking to Liquidator, and while they started spilling the beans, they started mentioning a car they're working on, plus they even mentioned the region where they'll be waiting for him, it was the B613 region. So can this new DLC be that very region? Is Timon indirectly talking about these brothers? Well, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. And finally, do not forget that this is not an ordinary DLC. It's a story expansion DLC just like the following. It's a big map, a totally new location with new enemies including a new zombie called Stalker that will be inside the water. Now we don't know what it will look like but we all know that it will hunt you under the water or in places like this. So guys, that's everything coming this year in 2023 for Dying Light 2. Almost the whole year is very low on the content side, but I'm pretty sure the DLC 2 will cover for it. I'm really excited for the DLC now because of all the changes they have implemented and the things they have shared. So I'm being positive for this year and I wish Techland all the best for this DLC. For all I know, it could be a game changer or a game killer. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay safe and stay human.